Berberine, without a doubt, is one of the most powerful and important supplements for those who truly need it. Study after study has shown that it can help lower blood sugar levels, improve insulin sensitivity, reduce cholesterol, support weight loss, and even fight inflammation throughout the body. It's no surprise that many people are turning to it as a natural alternative to medications. But here's the catch. Even though berberine can deliver incredible benefits, many people who take it end up making some serious mistakes. Mistakes that can actually make their health worse instead of better. That's why in this video we're going to go over six important things you need to know and avoid while taking a berberine supplement. These are things most people overlook, and the last mistake we'll cover could be the most important one of all. So, without much further ado, let's get started. 1. Take berberine supplements that actually contain what they claim. In a fair world, this shouldn't even be an issue. I mean seriously, why would anyone make a supplement and not include exactly what they claim on the label? But unfortunately, that's the reality we're living in. If you're taking a berberine supplement, you need to make absolutely sure you're getting it from a reputable brand. Because the sad truth is, some brands are putting way less berberine than they claim. And in some cases, none at all. There's a video from the anti-aging channel where they actually tested several berberine supplements from different companies to see if they really contained what the label promised. And let me tell you, the results were disappointing. Even shocking. One of the brands they tested contained zero milligrams of berberine. So imagine someone struggling with blood sugar, trying to support their health naturally, taking that supplement faithfully every day, and getting no results because the capsule was essentially empty. How can you expect to see any benefit if the pill literally contains none of the active ingredient? If you're interested, let us know in the comments and we'll make a dedicated video breaking down the results of that investigation. That way, you'll know exactly which brands to trust and which ones to avoid so you don't waste your money or put your health at risk. 2. Avoid taking it all at once. Here's something most people don't realize. Berberine gets metabolized very quickly. It has a short half-life, which means it doesn't stay in your system for very long. So if you're taking your entire dose of berberine just once or even twice a day, you're likely not getting the full benefits you're hoping for. Instead of staying active in your body throughout the day, berberine levels rise sharply after a big dose and then drop off just as fast. That means you get a short window of effectiveness, followed by long periods where it's not really doing much at all. You might be taking it religiously and still wondering why your blood sugar or cholesterol levels haven't improved. And this could be the reason. To avoid this, the best approach is to split your daily dosage into smaller amounts and take them throughout the day. Most experts recommend taking berberine three times a day, ideally before meals. That way you're keeping a more consistent level of berberine in your bloodstream, which allows it to work more effectively over time. It also helps you take advantage of one of berberine's key benefits, improving how your body handles carbohydrates during digestion. A simple strategy is to take 500 milligrams before breakfast another 500 before lunch, and a final 500 before dinner. And if you're just starting out, you don't have to jump straight into three doses per day. It's often a good idea to begin with just one dose daily for the first few days to see how your body reacts, then gradually increase to two, and finally three doses a day. This not only improves the effectiveness of the supplement but can also help minimize side effects like bloating, cramping, or nausea. So to put it simply, don't dump all your berberine into your system once a day and expect it to work miracles. Space it out, take it before meals, and let your body actually benefit from it in a steady, sustained way. 3. Not pairing it with magnesium. This is one mistake that hardly anyone talks about, but it can make a big difference. If you're taking berberine and not pairing it with magnesium, you might be missing out on a powerful synergy that could take your results to the next level. You see, both berberine and magnesium play important roles in supporting insulin sensitivity, glucose metabolism, and overall metabolic health, but they work in complementary ways, and together, they can enhance each other's effects. Magnesium is essential for over 300 biochemical processes in the body, and many of those are directly related to blood sugar regulation, muscle function, and energy production. Studies have shown that people who are deficient in magnesium are more likely to struggle with insulin resistance, high blood pressure, and inflammation, which are the exact same problems many people use berberine to fix. When you pair berberine with a quality magnesium supplement, you support your metabolism on two fronts. Magnesium helps stabilize your energy, reduce stress on your nervous system, and keep your blood sugar in balance, 
especially between meals when berberine levels might be tapering off. Now not all forms of magnesium are created equal. For this purpose, forms like magnesium glycinate or magnesium citrate are often preferred because they are well-absorbed and gentle on the stomach. Avoid cheap, poorly absorbed forms like magnesium oxide. If you're serious about getting the most out of berberine, don't overlook the role of magnesium. Supporting your body with both can lead to better blood sugar control, improved energy, fewer side effects, and longer-lasting results. 4. Thinking it's okay to take high-carb meals. Some people have this dangerous mindset that goes something like this. Well, I'm already taking a blood sugar-lowering supplement, so I should be able to keep eating my crackers, white rice, bread, and sugary snacks, right? Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Berberine is powerful, yes. It has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity, reduce glucose spikes, and support metabolic health. But it's not a free pass to keep eating high-glycemic, ultra-processed carbs without consequence. Think of berberine like a seatbelt. It can protect you, reduce risk, and help in certain situations. But if you're constantly driving recklessly, you're still headed for trouble. The same goes for your diet. If you're eating high-carb meals loaded with refined sugars and starches, you're constantly pushing your blood sugar up, putting stress on your pancreas, and promoting inflammation. And berberine alone can't cancel all of that out. What makes it worse is that some people use berberine as a kind of excuse to keep indulging in unhealthy foods. They assume the supplement will balance things out. But this mindset only leads to disappointment when they don't see results, or worse, when their health markers actually get worse over time. If you're taking berberine, it should be part of a bigger strategy, not a band-aid. That means focusing on whole foods, prioritizing fiber-rich vegetables, healthy fats and lean proteins, and minimizing refined carbs like white bread, pastries, soda, and processed snacks. If you do eat carbs, go for slow-digesting ones like sweet potatoes, lentils, or quinoa, and always try to pair them with protein or healthy fats to reduce the glycemic impact. 5. Be mindful of nutrient malabsorption. Berberine is known for its strong antimicrobial and gut-regulating effects, which can be great for controlling harmful bacteria and improving gut health in the short term. But over time it can also disrupt the balance of your gut microbiome if you're not careful. This disruption can impact how your digestive system absorbs and processes important vitamins and minerals. One of the most common issues is with vitamin B12. Some users who take berberine long-term may start to notice signs of B12 deficiency, like fatigue, brain fog, or tingling sensations in the hands and feet. This is because B12 requires a healthy gut lining and proper enzyme function for absorption, and berberine can slow this down if taken for extended periods without a break, or without supporting gut health. Other nutrients that can be affected include folate, iron, and fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K. And in some cases, berberine may also impact the absorption of medications, especially if they depend on enzymes that berberine suppresses in the liver or gut. This doesn't mean you have to stop taking berberine altogether, but it does mean you need to be smart about it. If you're on berberine for more than a few months, Consider taking a good quality multivitamin or rotating in foods that are rich in B vitamins and other nutrients. You may also want to support your gut with probiotics or fermented foods like kefir, sauerkraut, or kimchi to help maintain a healthy microbiome while you're using berberine. 6. Make sure to avoid dangerous drugs interactions. Now this one can be seriously problematic, and in some cases, even dangerous. Berberine is a natural supplement, yes, but it's also a bioactive compound that affects multiple systems in your body, including your liver enzymes, your gut microbiome, and your blood sugar regulation. That means it can interact with several medications in ways that people often underestimate or completely overlook. Let's start with the most obvious one. Blood sugar medications, like metformin, glipizide, or insulin. Berberine also lowers blood glucose, so when combined with these drugs, it can intensify their effect and lead to hypoglycemia, or dangerously low blood sugar. This can cause dizziness, confusion, shakiness, and in extreme cases, fainting or seizures. Next are blood pressure medications. Berberine may lower blood pressure on its own, so when taken alongside drugs like beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, or diuretics, it could cause your blood pressure to drop too low, leading to fatigue, lightheadedness, or even fainting. Berberine also affects liver enzymes, especially CYP3A4 and CYP2D6, which are responsible for metabolizing a wide range of medications. 
This means it can slow down the breakdown of certain drugs, causing them to build up in your system and increasing the risk of side effects or toxicity. Some of the drugs affected include statins for cholesterol, benzodiazepines like diazepam or lorazepam, antidepressants like SSRIs and tricyclics, immunosuppressants, antibiotics like clarithromycin, antiarrhythmics for heart rhythm problems, and then there's anticoagulants, drugs that thin your blood, like warfarin, aspirin, or clopidogrel. Berberine may enhance the effects of these medications, increasing your risk of excessive bleeding or bruising. There are even concerns about berberine interacting with thyroid medications such as levothyroxine, especially if taken too close together. Berberine may interfere with absorption or affect thyroid hormone levels indirectly. So what should you do? If you're on any prescription medications, especially for blood sugar, blood pressure, cholesterol, mental health, or blood clotting, it's extremely important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist before starting berberine. Don't just assume that because it's natural, it's automatically safe. In the wrong combination, berberine can cause more harm than good. So there you have it. Six common but serious mistakes people make when taking berberine. On its own, berberine can be a powerful tool for improving your blood sugar, metabolism, and overall health. But when used the wrong way, it can leave you frustrated, stuck, or even worse off than before. Before you consider taking berberine, remember that pregnant or breastfeeding women should avoid it, and people on multiple medications or with certain health conditions need to be especially cautious. Always consult your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement to make sure it's safe for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who's currently taking or thinking about taking berberine. And if you want us to break down the lab results from that video that tested different berberine brands or a full guide on how to combine berberine safely with other supplements, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, take care of your health, and as always, stay curious and stay empowered.